we can expect to see out there this time of year. Different birds, uh, maybe seal. I'd say that would probably be it. Birds would include the bald eagle. Oh, really? Tell us a little bit about the Wildlife Center here. All right. Okay. So um, the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge is part of the Washington Maritime National Wildlife Refuge Complex, which is a complex of uh, refuges in uh, northwestern Washington. And it includes uh, the Dungeness Spit, which is the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge, Protection Island National Wildlife Refuge, a group of uh, islands in the San Juans, uh, known as the San Juan Islands National Wildlife Refuge, and then several uh, coastal refuges on uh, Washington's outer coast. And our volunteer program is part of the National Wildlife Refuge system. So the volunteers working at uh, the various refuges all fall under the Washington Maritime Refuge Complex and they work primarily at the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge. From time to time we do have volunteers working out on Protection Island and uh, on occasion out in uh, the San Juan Islands, but I would say about 99 percent of the volunteer activity takes place at the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge, which is our primary public refuge, uh, Dungeness being open for uh, visitation. So our uh, volunteer program uh, is comprised of approximately 125 volunteers, of which about 80 are very active. The primary um, location volunteers work at is the um, refuge entrance station, which is at the end of Voice of America Drive, just where the Dungeness County Recreation Area ends and the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge begins. The primary duty that volunteers have is uh, public contact. Uh, the number one thing they're doing is greeting visitors and explaining um, the kinds of things they'll see in the refuge, uh, you know, the various resources, the regulations, and acting as just a, a way to dispense general information for the public. Another major volunteer duty is uh, maintenance. We do quite a bit of uh, beach cleanups and trail maintenance and uh, uh, things of that nature. And the great majority of that is done by volunteers. We also have uh, two um, full-time caretakers, one at the Dungeness Refuge and one at Protection Island. And uh, although those do uh, pay a very small stipend, those are considered to be volunteer positions. And those volunteers generally stay with their specific refuge for between six months and a year. And they actually live on the refuges. And once again, their primary job is public contact. And their secondary job is, uh, is refuge maintenance. Well, we're standing at the uh, main trailhead to the Dungeness Spit, which is the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge. And this would be one of the uh, locations where volunteers spend a majority of their time. And the job here would be to greet people and uh, explain the refuge. Uh, you can see there's uh, aids, uh, including maps, to uh, help visitors understand where they're going and uh, areas that are open to the public and areas that are closed to the public. So a primary duty of a volunteer is to uh, greet those people, help them understand uh, the various uh, aspects of the refuge, um, and to provide general information to the visitors. Another important part of that is to explain the uh, what appears to be a complicated fee structure. Uh, it's really pretty simple, but uh, the volunteers help people understand that there is a small uh, nominal entrance fee and that uh, they need to fill out a, a, a fee envelope and take their fee permit, which is what they've just purchased for $3 to go into the refuge. Um, so one of the main things the volunteers do is uh, staff this entrance area and the trail down into the refuge and to uh, uh, what I call trail roving, which is to walk around in this absolutely beautiful environment and just greet people and talk to people and uh, help answer the, uh, the inquiries that they have. A 
here we are at the uh, Dungeness Spit, which is part of the Dungeness National Wildlife Refuge. Uh, this is the lower of two overlooks, and it's absolutely just a spectacular view of the spit and the straits. One of the things volunteers do here at the refuge is to patrol the spit. They go out and they answer uh, people's questions. They look for safety issues. Uh, they knock down the big forts that get built, which become unstable. And uh, they look for uh, injured and uh, deceased wildlife. They record those, uh, those uh, statistics. Um, and they do quite a bit in the way of beach cleanups. We have at least seven scheduled beach cleanups for year, per year. And we usually add uh, one or two more to that, uh, to that schedule. And so um, typically first Saturdays of the month throughout the summer, uh, 9 o'clock in the morning you'll see volunteers heading down the spit and picking up marine debris, primarily plastics that wash ashore. And um, we often get comments from visitors that the, uh, the beaches are absolutely beautiful and clean here and that is all from the hard work of volunteers. It's a great way to spend a Saturday morning and uh, we usually get a pretty good turnout for that. It's very social activity and uh, really a lot of fun. So uh, amongst the many things volunteers do here at the refuge, uh, taking care of the Dungeness Spit is one of the most important things.